For years, mountaineers have been trying to conquer Mount Everest. But climbing up the highest mountain in the world isn't the only way to get into the record books, as Holly Budge recently proved. She's the first woman ever to skydive above Mount Everest, after jumping from a height of 29,500 feet. Now back in her hometown of Bristol, we asked Holly what first drew her into the world of skydiving. I went travelling in 99 to New Zealand and I did a tandem skydive um, and I was just blown away with it. I just couldn't believe that people were getting paid to jump out of aeroplanes every day um, as a job. So um, I decided that that was what I wanted to do. So I made it my mission to become a free fall camera woman. So I trained um, for about six months, um, got my jump numbers up, got my flying skills good enough, brought all my cameras and parachute equipment and um, yeah, was the third woman ever to work in Lake Taupo as a camera flyer. On arrival in Nepal, Holly had time to acclimatise with a week-long trek in the mountains. We did an eight-day acclimatisation trek. We started in Lukla, which was at 9,000 feet, and then we trekked up to a place called Ferroche, which is um, halfway between Lukla and Everest Base Camp, and that was 14 and a half thousand feet. I really, I loved that bit of it. That was just as exciting as doing the skydiving. Um, you know, the trekking and meeting the local people and uh, staying in the villages. It was very different to a normal jump. Like you say, for the equipment, the equipment was much bigger. My um, parachute was much bigger than my normal chute. Um, I had oxygen, an oxygen mask on. I've never jumped with oxygen gear before, so that was quite restrictive in my uh, my movement. Um, obviously, it was much colder than, than I'm used to and, and much higher, um, so our free fall speeds were a lot faster than normal. Um, and yeah, just being under canopy and looking around and just seeing Everest right there is quite uh, unusual too, so it was quite different from any jump I've done before, um, but I was just more excited than nervous. Of course I was nervous, but I was just, the minute the door opened, people have asked me what was going through your mind, and it's just, you know, you just want to get out there and do it. Yeah. Aside from the extra altitude, we asked Holly if there were any other major differences between this and a regular jump. Beautiful, uh, silent, yeah, Everest and, and sort of some of the other highest mountains in the world and you're just flying around. But the actual freefall wasn't that different to a normal skydive. Um, and because I had a camera flyer with me, I was quite focused on them. Um, it wasn't until you get under canopy that you realise just where you are and, and how beautiful the, the surroundings are and how small you are in comparison to everything around you. Um, but yeah, the actual free fall just felt quite clunky because of all the gear. I was under canopy for about five minutes. So it took us 45 minutes to fly up and six minutes to get down. After all the build-up and then the adrenaline rush of the jump itself, we asked Holly to describe the atmosphere and her immediate reaction when she was back on terra firma. I felt really dizzy because I took my oxygen mask off when I was under canopy because it was obscuring my vision. So I took that off at about 17,000 feet. Um, and then I, I did feel a little bit dizzy. And then when I landed, everyone was running over and there was cameras everywhere. and It was quite overwhelming and people taking pictures of you and shoving microphones in your face. And, and that didn't really stop for about a month afterwards. You know, it's just been media, media madness. So having jumped out of a plane above Mount Everest, Holly is clearly not one for sitting at home in front of the TV. So what's the next challenge? Well, I'd like to uh, have a go at base jumping, which uh, I'm planning on doing next year. I'm going to go and uh, have a crack at that. So again, that will be quite a challenge as well. So it will make my skydive over Everest look quite tame. Finally, we asked Holly what it felt like to sit back and think that she's the first woman in history to achieve this particular yeah, I, I still don't think it's totally sunk in. Like I said, it's just been mad for the last couple of months. So, uh, yeah, I do sometimes walk along and think, you know, it's pretty cool.